Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Namaste Lake Chapala. Welcome to the experience of Namaste, which is to say the experience of seeing everything exactly as it is. How simple can that be? It doesn't even sound complex to see everything as it really is. And yet we have made it very complex indeed, and we have been the literal denial of seeing what is true of seeing what is right there. You know, sometimes I'll have my phone or, or something, or maybe it's my computer with my printer, and, and it's, it's, I'm trying to send something from here to here, and it says, cannot find. Like, it's, it's right here. It's right here. How can you not find it? <laughs> it's right in front of you. And it's the same with us. We're looking for something that's right in front of us. In fact, we're looking for something that is within us, that literally is the essence of who we are. And to actually find what is true, to find and to discover what is right in front of us and what is within us, is simple. And if we allow it to be simple, then we realize the highest truth, which is that it is already done. It is already complete that we need do nothing. Or as we like to say, you never left heaven. Isn't that a beautiful idea to know that the truth of who you are never left heaven, which is to say, never really knew the experience of separation because separation from all that is, is an impossible dream. So you've been dreaming of this separate existence, this world where you have been split apart in order to deny and to hide from some guilty idea that you've held that never was true. And you've created all this in order to avoid. It's time to allow the simple truth of who you are and who you've always been to illumine the shadows within your consciousness. And we do this by simply opening our eyes, simply opening our eyes to see through each other, in each other, as each other, what is whole, what is complete right now. So that's what our session is going to be on today. We're going to be looking at that one beautiful section in A Course in Miracles that begins by saying, simply do this. But first, I want to share a song with you that I actually wrote, I feverishly wrote and recorded and made a video for yesterday, uh, right before we did the second session of my seven-week radical uh, St. Francis uh, program. I know some of you were there for that, so you've already seen this video, but I think it leads us into this discussion on the simplicity of truth. So let me go ahead and share the screen and the video. And here we go. Uh-oh. One moment, sound doesn't seem to be coming through. Here we go. Simply Start all over. do this. Here we go. the only thing you need to learn. 
Be still and know I am God. In fact, let's just take a deep breath together. I'm going to invite you for a moment just to close your eyes. And take a deep breath. We want to take this message even deeper so that we feel so completely comfortable opening up our spiritual eyes to see that this has always been the reality that we share. So I want you to say, I'm going to say it live, and then I want you to repeat it after me. And as you say these words, I just want you to feel the impact. Be still and know I am God. Say those words. Be still and know I am God. Now take a deep breath and breathe that in deeper. And now go ahead and say this next line. Be still and know I am. Be still and know. I am. Take a deep breath. Bring it even deeper. And now say after me, be still and know. Be still and know. And then take a deep breath. Now these words, be still. Deep breath, be still. And finally, be. Just be. Just feel the vibration of this being, you being who you are and have always been. Just allow yourself to be that. Allow it to be that simple. Because it is. Because it is that simple. So take one more deep breath. And when you're ready, open your eyes. I hope you're able to feel that because feeling that prayer is the, like that door opening up. The door has always been unlocked, but we have to choose to have it be opened simply because we chose to have it be closed. But it's never really closed. It's always at least cracked open so that the light can come streaming in. We would never be truly left in darkness, and that's what would happen if that door could ever be truly closed, but it can't. Even that little crack allows enough light to come in for us to remember what is and has always been true. That light enters our consciousness, enters our dream, and moves us to remember, calls us to know that I am God. I am that. So let me share that paragraph that I'm sure almost all of you know very well, maybe even have it memorized. I do have to say I think it's my most favorite paragraph in the entire Course in Miracles. Because it is simple, and it brings it out in such a simple way. It tells you exactly what to do. I know that there's, I don't know, 1,500 pages or something. I don't know how many pages, but, but it seems like there are many, many pages telling you what to do, and there's really only one paragraph, and this is it. So let's digest this for a moment. Simply do this. Be still. And lay aside all thoughts. All thoughts 
of what you are and what God is. What you think God is, who you think you are, lay it aside. You don't need it right now. Lay aside all concepts that you have learned about the world. Once again, you don't need them. You never did. Lay aside those concepts. Lay aside all the images you hold about yourself. Even more important. Lay aside those images that never taught you anything. Only taught you to see what wasn't there. Empty your mind of everything it thinks is true or false or good or bad, of every thought it judges worthy, and all the ideas of which it is ashamed. Just let them go. All of those ideas, all of those thoughts, all of those concepts, you don't need them. They're only in the way. Do not bring with you one thought that the past has taught, not one, nor one belief that you ever learned before from anything. Wow, that is quite a statement. That statement rocks the whole world. Think about that. Do not bring with you a single thought that the past has taught you. Aren't we told or don't we believe that, that the past is there to teach us what to do, what not to do? because of lessons that we've learned from the past, and yet this is telling us to do the exact opposite. Do not bring with you one thought, not a single thought the past has taught you. Why? Because the past isn't here. The past isn't what you think it is. Nor one belief that you ever learned before from anything. Once again, this is earth-shaking stuff. Don't bring with you a single belief that you have ever learned from anything anything. <laughs> I just love how uncompromising this is. It's not saying uh, lay aside most of the thoughts that you've ever learned because most of them aren't real and aren't going to help you. There may be a few in there. No, it's not saying that at all. It's saying throw them all away. You don't need anything the past has ever taught you. Any concept that you hold about yourself, let them go. And remember, it begins by saying simply do this. This is all you need to do. If you can just do this, the rest happens on its own. And finally, forget this world and come with holy, empty hands unto your God. Just forget it all. Don't, don't hold on to it. Just relax and be empty before your beloved. This is an experience. I'm sure you know that. Because trying to get that intellectually or conceptually will not work. You can examine it and study it till the cows come home. And you'll be exactly where you've always been. Unhappy. Unfulfilled. But the moment you just do what it says, lay it all aside... Let all those concepts go. Don't look at the past to teach you who you are right now. The moment you can do that and come with holy empty hands unto God, something breaks free inside you like a dam breaking. Because we've been holding back all of this energy and all this light. And the ego part of us, that split mind part of us, has been desperate to keep us from seeing this from recognizing this because it knows the moment you do this, you simply do this, that dam will break open. All of those concepts, all of those shadows will be released and you'll finally be free. Free to see what has always been in front of thee. Right in front of you, right now. So let's let it be simple, because it is simple. Just allow yourself to, to just embrace that one teaching. 
Because that one teaching will give you everything that you need to relax into this world where the light never fades and love never dims and you are forever who you have always been.